Welcome to Satisfactory, my name is Neil Arts and this is episode 3 of our Update 4 Let's Play. I hope you are uh, keeping up, enjoying it and uh, following along. I am uh, I'm, uh, I'm liking this because uh, I can, I, this YouTube series has the, the advantage that it's it's like this music. Well, maybe not quite as lullaby as this music, but I don't want to do this overhyped and all this. I want to just slowly progress and build a really nice crisp bass. And we built a nice uh, base before, but um, we got more stuff to do. We got more stuff to do. So we also had like uh, the part about here. We have our zip line that is uh, <laughs> causing a bit of uh, of challenges. Let's just say like that. What if we do? Yeah, I definitely want to do that one. So we can try to get up there. We'll uh, go with the zip line right now. Uh, the zip line is really going to be a challenge. <clears throat> Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so that's, that's like, calm down. Yeah, I'm, there's just something about these zip line that's just, they are so difficult to grapple on, onto. So let's, uh, we'll, we'll try, we'll try. So we built this rotor, no, no. Did we built this reinforced iron plate build last time and it looks really nice, I think so. It does have one thing that I don't like about it. It's not tileable. So basically you build it at this size and it works Flawlessly at exactly what you're building for. Um, and we need to just get some kind of altitude here. Not just, not about. It takes exactly 120 per iron ore per minute and then makes exactly 5, uh, 10, 10 reinforced iron plates per minute. So, you know, it's good, but what if I want to scale it up? Uh, the, one, the thing we want today is rotors because if we look at the codex, then. Uh, down here we have some smart plating that takes one reinforced iron plate and one rotor for the smart plating. Smart plating is what we need in order to unlock the next tier for our uh, and next tier in, uh, in of research, let's tier three and four. So that's kind of what we want to do today. And I want to build a big rotor build. And for that, I am going to need something better than these concrete blocks because I'm not super happy about them. Oh no. Yeah, that's, that's again the thing. <laughs> All right, we're gonna print out some of these. Uh, they've been just chugging along, just burning through these uh, these copper sheets that we don't need for anything. And what I'd like to build, or what I'd like to get, is actually let's see if I can find it. What I'd want to have, I want some foundations. I want this foundation. Oh, that's actually it. Boop. That's it. That's the one I want. Buy it. Did I buy it? No, I didn't buy it. Buy all. So what we have is now a girder foundation and some glass panes. Really, really nice. I'd also like some other things, but I don't think I'm going to build those right now. That one I like. That's four. And wall segments. This one has this wall segment that I like. So can I also build that? Yeah, I can. Uh, do I have enough for building both of those? I have exactly enough. So I might just do that. Cool. I don't know what it don't know if I do want to build anymore. So what is it I want to do with this? Oh, oh, this is like the worst one to get to jump onto. So might take a few tries. Ah. <laughs> it's just, it's just no way this is gonna be done. What? How? How is that? What? Oh, it's encroaching. That one's clear. It's weird. Weird that I even have that one. All right. Yeah, I need to jump up there yeah I, please for the love of god just make this snappable make it so that you can actually stand here and just <sighs> oh i got it i got it i got it okay so maybe maybe if i stand right here ah yes oh that's super easy uh, never mind all right, what I wanted to do was actually just get over to this location here. And I want to make... So, I think that if I'm standing down here, then I can zip line up here. And then if I could just zip line up to the next one over there, then I can get above these brushes, brushes here. I can use that one because rotors just need iron. So, I just need one of these. So, if I build something like... Well, we're going to build a new thing here. So we have new... I'll build that in number one, that one number two. So I built that one. So I think these look good because they have a more industrial look and you can look through them. 
but you can also fall through them, which is less than ideal, so I'd want to make that one on top. That gives me a really nice look that I like, very industrial, very much uh, you can see through it, you can kind of navigate, which also means if I want these giant uh, platforms that are sort of half overlapping, which is kind of my intention at eventually, but then I want to be able to to see through it, otherwise it just gets boring. And I know that there will be some comments about uh, that, the fact that it's bad for performance and you need to box things off. Yeah, but it looks awful, so we're going to just uh, accept that. Uh, let's see. Hold on. Is it possible for me to do it the other way around? Can I do that one first and then that one at the... Oh, yeah. Oh, hold on. I'll take the glass first. Did you see that? This one has a direction there. So what if I do... Yeah, so it's decided that these girders will go north-south. Always only. Boom. Well, except if I don't do it, then... There. Uh, how many is that? One, two, three, four five six and I don't want to go any further Ooh, look at that one and I'll go back I hear some growling somewhere yeah, it's actually relatively easy to do this and then I'm gonna build that and it's gonna go up one two three four five six Seven. All right. And I can go up. And actually, maybe I should build some power poles things here. That one's on six, that one's on seven. So I need to do... Let's go here. You are kind of busy, but let's take that one out because I don't need it, I think. Here to here. This one to... All the way up to that corner. Does that seem reasonable? Oh, that's that's not it. What what the hell did I do? What? It's on the side. That looks weird. What is that? That's a wall mount. I didn't want a wall mount. I wanted a big thing like that. How did that get? That's so weird. Can I do this one? And then I take this out, and then I build this on, on build it on the corner, right? Build it on the corner. That just can't be right that it sticks through this. Doesn't matter. I just need to get up there. Whoop. And then, uh, <laughs> well, that's going to be easy. these zip lines right I mean, we're gonna have to find a solution later on to getting this a bit more stable i hope i don't die see easily controlled and i'm going to take this one out because i just don't think that's correct there oh maybe it is correct maybe it just has to be that it is sticking down it what oh look at the other ones they are actually going through never mind it's correct Okay, so what I need to do is I need to make a platform here. I... Uh, is this turning the right way? Who knows? So we can just go out here and make a platform. That's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Let's make it twelve. Let's make it... I don't know. And I'm going to get this one from here. And that's going to be the furthest it can reach. Okay. And then I'll just make it all the other way around. So that's something that just takes a bit of time to do. So uh, that's something. And I also need to clear the path here. And then probably need to throw some fuel in as well. So that we can get a nice platform up here. Yeah, sure. Ooh, there's a crash site. Yeah, that's not what we're gonna do now. Cool. Let me uh, let me just uh, build that for us so we can get on with the actual construction of the rotor build which I want up here. All right, here we are. We have a. Uh
built the platform and uh, it looks good i think it looks very industrial what i also did was actually make this platform over here also convert this i mean while we're at it why not like that so we can now see through you can actually luckily you can remove it and then build it underneath again so it's actually pretty cool that's how i want to have all my builds and of course we'll figure out with lighting and uh, all sorts of things but you know that's gonna come later i'm just gonna use this one because <laughs> this this one is always just gonna be my the bane of my existence all right we're gonna have to find a solution to this all right, let's go up to our new platform. This is going to be where we built the rotor build. So that is the objective right now. Very nice big platform. It is 12 by something. And I hope we have enough of what we can do to build. So what is it we want to build? Now we're going to do the design part. Uh, let's see. I am going to build that one sort of in the middle because this can take... Okay, we have to remember this is the middle of a tile and this is the middle of a tile. That The dots here on the middle... Uh, even though it also looks like that is a dot, that's actually just a merge of two tiles. So if I build it like this, just kind of somewhere, then I'm going to build a rotor build. So what, what I want to do for the rotors is I want it to be a... I want it to be a tileable build because, hey, I want to make something nice for you. So if we look at the first... What I mean by tileable is that I'm going to build it for 120 iron, but I want it to be tileable so that I can just easily extend it without making any changes to up to 270, which is a Mark III belt, which we might be getting in sort of a couple of episodes time. Eh, maybe more, a couple, bit more cobble, but you know. So I'm going to get here. We have to figure out how much this is consuming. This is consuming 20 iron plus the screws. I'm going to use the casted screws that I found out in the world. Really, really nice recipe. Actually, one of the best alternate recipes it doesn't get any materials any new materials it just gets uh, it just gets uh, skips a step instead of going from into a smelter for the ingots and into a, a sem uh, no a constructor for the rods and then another constructor for the screws it just skips the middle constructor so it goes directly from ingots to uh, to the screws but it's still one to four so that means if I need 100, that's 25. So it's 25 iron plus 20 iron. That's 45 iron for four of these. So 25 times, no, sorry. This is 45 for each of these, 20 plus 25. So 45 per, per minute times three is uh, 135, which is obviously more than what one belt can do. But the great thing about 135 is that it's half of 270. That means if I build three of these, and I don't think I can, I can actually, yeah, they're not going to be like this, but we'll find out how they want to build them. If I build three of these, then I can... Ah, think. Then I can exactly consume a Mark III belt, which is what I really want to do. So, that means I'm going to be making my, my sort of my design here along these lines. I'm just going like, okay, this is going to be merging out. And that will be brought this way. I mean, I don't know if that's going to be correct. And on this side, I'm going to have two things inbound. I'm going to have the screws coming in, but that's going to be 100. So it has to be back two belt. I want that to be directly fed from two constructors. So this one is going to be used for mergers and splitters. Uh, that line, this one will then be the used for constructors. I'm going to use this one for balancing. Uh, no. Scroll and check that is the middle by of course and that's the middle and then i can go here build my constructor i'm happy that some people uh, like this idea of using spitters for alignment uh is that actually not that's maybe not right it's something i've been doing for a very long time but it's it's a uh, it's nice to see that can just still show some things okay one two uh let's see we look at this this is going to be the casted screws that is working at Oh, so, yeah, okay, of course, 12 and a half and 50 per minute. So I'm going to have two of these. And that one, two. So that is now the 100. That means I am going to need these two to go into a merger. That will uh, mer merge right there, pointed that way. That means I need you to go away. And I need you to be this way. This is just for alignment. And now I need to align the assembler input port. 
with this one. Like that and that. And now the blue line over to the splitter so it goes in the middle of the tiles and the blue line towards me so that it goes from here and in there. Looking good. Except there is one problem. And I know that problem. I know I also know the solution, but I'm going to show you because from this side I will then have at a higher altitude. Okay, I'm just going to show you what the intention is. That goes in. This one. One, two. In here. Now that means I can't get the iron rods that have to go in here. I can't get those through here. So I'm going to have to get them up. So let's take this one out momentarily. That means I'm going to need to have an input there. And that has to be aligned to that one. And then it has to go up here and here. I'm going to take the two lower ones out. So that I go from this location. This will be iron rods coming from over here and going that way. Then I'm going to take here. And that is encroaching on this one. That means I actually need this bouncer here to be not exactly there, but just one tile over. One tile over is the magical number for the assembler. And actually for... No, it is for the, for the assembler. It's the magical thing. So I am going to go again, build the assembler. And, and trust me, these are the things that it's taking a while to figure these builds out. And once you do, you get kind of just remember some of those. See, now there's room for it. And listen to the sweet sound. That that little thing is the sweetest sound because now it connects directly in there. And I can now connect that one in here. And I can get Mark II belt from here to here. So that is going to be how we feed it. We get iron rods up top going in and continuing onwards. Then we get cast the screws from these two going in here. And that's perfect ratio. Excellent. All right. So we are going to get some inputs here. This will be our there and there. Oh, no, 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 no. That's not how it is. Uh, because I'm going to need to smelt it. I always forget the smelting somehow. And the smelting will then be in here. Which will then be split. This smelting will do... It can do 30, but I actually only want it to do 25. Because then it'll match with the other one. So I'm going to go here. Get a splitter. Means it comes out. 25 comes in. 12 and a half goes out. And... 12 and a half goes out to the other one. Perfect. And now I need a splitter coming in because I want all my iron to come out from this side. So iron to come in from the side there. Oh no, I made a mistake. I made an absolutely gigantic mistake. Oh no. Uh, it's really too far away. I, I need to start moving this closer. Okay, I, I can do that. I can do that. Here. Here. Ah, that's, that's not a lot of space. I feel kind of crowded out here. But, you know, you know, it's it's got to be what it's got to be, right? Uh, I'm, I'm not 100% sure that this is what I want. Merge it. These two back together. Point it in here. Get that one. Yeah, I, I do need it like this. And that will be... Like that. Is that correct? I think so. Inbound. Yep. And then the splitter, which has to be balanced here. And there. Uh, I take the lower ones out. I'm not going to build all of it like this, but we want to. Uh, I want to make sure that we get this just somewhat correct. Yeah. And. Sorry. One. E. There. And then from here to that one. Yes. Yeah, I think that's fine. Ah, how I don't like this. How I just don't like this. This is too close, isn't it? Yeah. 
It is. It is. Alright, I'm just, just gonna make like a... I'm gonna... I, I'm gonna make... I'm gonna make the, the, the pattern here and then... Oh, right, right. I see what the problem is. This one is not actually built on the middle of the tiles. This is built on the edge of the tiles. That's why it feels so crowded. Ah, now I get it. Now I get it. Okay, so that's the main disadvantage of, of having these uh, glass tiles is you can't really see what's the middle of the tile and what's not. Okay, I'm going to build uh, a bit of this again so we can come back to where we were before so you don't have to watch me build exactly the same thing again. Okay, we're somewhat back to where we uh, we were before. I've just uh, constructed this pattern that we just uh, made and uh, just made a bit more room. This this feels better, this room here. Yeah, absolutely. So we're going to take also the outbound, which will go here. And that will be what I really want. Where I want to make it is actually in a box that's positioned here. Because that means I can get from here and... One, two. That means that when I jump up here, whee, flying up, then I will be able to just jump in and pick up whatever I have in terms of, uh, yeah, in terms of rotors and get that. So we are gonna go continue to go back here, and this is where we got that one inbound, and I'm gonna get here. So <clears throat> this is where I kind of got stuck and go like, oh no. All right, I am going to get iron coming on this line, iron ore coming on this line. It's going to go in here, but it's also going to go into the previous one. The previous one being, this is where we make the iron rods that will be coming out here and then being built in a constructor like that. How many iron rods do we need? We needed 60, so I need four of these builds and I needed three. Yeah, and this one will then be, hmm, what will that be? That will be an inbound. Now I got a distinct feeling that I'm forgetting something. It looks nice that it actually fits, but I'm just worried that it doesn't fit. Okay, so it goes iron or oh right, iron oil. In. Aha, there we go. Iron oil. In. We're gonna need this to maybe be just a significantly part bigger, right? That one and Somehow it always rotates. What is with the things that rotate when you place one? Yeah, I think I need this uh, because I forgot the smelting again. Let's get this one. Okay, and from here I'm going to get a splitter. And I know that I can make these things much more compact, but I really don't want to. That's the that's the part. I really don't like them being much more compact. I really like them being. Uh, that's not correct. If in doubt, then make one of these in the middle, because you can kind of see where that's supposed to be. And don't fall down there. So this one will make 30 per second, and it goes in here, and that one will take 15. So I'm gonna need two of these. Actually, I'm going to need more than two here, three and four in total. Iron rods, iron rods, iron rods, and that one goes away. This 30 in here split to 15 plus 15. I'm going to build that another one like that and another one there. Nope. goes in from here and get to the inbound inbound we're not going to do all of this again I'm just warning you but on the other hand it's it's really a balance for me and I'd like to you get your feedback on it like on the one hand I can skip too much and then you have no clue what I'm building on the other hand it can be super repetitive and just go like oh, I don't need to see you build 17 of the same same branches and uh, yeah, it's kind of difficult to know which one it is, which one I'm closest to. So uh, how much build do we need to do? Or do we, should we do in these setups? And how much should we just lay out the foundation and just zoom ahead and go like, and now it's done. I don't know. I think it also depends for some things that are going to be big that it doesn't really make sense to do too much input here. 
There. And also we need... These. Uh, that doesn't seem safe. Ha! Look at that. There's, there's missing something. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. That was... Uh, that was definitely not safe. This is just to get this completed. It's um, important. And I think one of the things that you'd want to do is... It's so easy when you build just to go... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm coming back to make it nice later. Yeah, but you're not going to, are you? You're just not going to. That's the thing. You're never coming back and just go like... Now it's time to make everything look nice. All right. So... <clears throat> Iron ore comes in here, and that means I need to split iron ore. It should be coming in here. Yeah, something like this. Iron ore is coming in here. And it comes out here. And then it goes on a tier 2 belt. Tier 2 inbound. Tier 2, technically only a tier 1. But, you know, I like this. And then we get another problem. Which I think is... Maybe you've seen. Maybe you already have seen this coming. One, two. But I don't think... It's not a problem, actually. But this means iron ore comes in, gets split. Half of it goes in to become screws. And half of it goes in to become the rods. Yep. The stuff that comes in to become rods has to go out again. So it has to come out on this thing. This manifold pattern here. Here, and here, and here. That means all of these go into this line. Into this line. I'm a bit in doubt because at this point it on, it can never produce more than 60. So I don't think I need to make this into a Mark II. But as soon as I need to upgrade it, then I will need to upgrade it. But you know, you have to upgrade it when you need it, not when you want to. So this one will now need to go up. And that means we are going to have to build something here. And it's not quite working. Can I build it? Stackable conveyor, yes please, that one. So that needs to be here. One, two, come on. There we go. This belt will go into that one. And it has to reach into this one, which shouldn't be a problem either. I'm going to put this on a number four. And let's see, that will be right there. One, two. Got the belt coming from here to here and straight in. Nice, crisp 90 degree turns. And actually, this one, I think... Hmm, I just... I really just feel that it feels right to do this. I don't know. Yeah. It, oh, by the way, this is not necessary to upgrade this, but I just, I just feel it's right. Anyway, we are going to build now... Uh, the other ones, I'm just going to lay out the foundation. We're not going to build all of the integrations, like the belts and the power poles and the recipes and the, the splitters and the mergers. You know, well, I have, someone has to do it, right? But uh, we don't have to do it together. I can just do that and we can skip it. But let, I want to get this sort of the look and feel of it so we can get a sense of what it looks like when it's completed, right? So I am going to get... This will be a merge that way. And that will be merging here as well. And then I need this, which will now be... Ah, jump, jump too far. Ah, oh, I love the Blade Runners. They're so nice. Oop. Right, so that is basically how this setup is going to look like. I'm going to build a little tower for us so we can just... Ponder it on this. Just so we get an idea. And then it's probably easier to, from up here, to get some kind of semblance of idea of it. The idea here is that it is now tileable. 
If you get more iron in on this side, you can extend this part. This is the iron rod production. I can just build more out here. If you add, so this is two plus, no, yeah, it's four of these plus six of these go into three of these. That's the ratio. It will use 135, which I don't have. So the last one will be starving. That's just what it is. But if I then get up to 270, then I can just go, okay, eight here, 12 here, and six there. And then I'm consuming, and I'm, I don't need to do anything. I don't need to change all of this build. I just need to upgrade the belts to higher speed. All we need now is just power poles, recipes, splitters, mergers, belts, and debugging. How long is that going to take? Well, not long. This did not take very long. As you can see, we have built everything. All of the pipes are here. All, well, pipes, luckily no pipes, but all the belts, all the splitters, all the mergers, all the power poles, all the recipes, everything is here. It's good to go. And uh, we're just gonna look around and I am going to go down here and we get, get, can uh, go down and up, activate. Activate, activate, activate. Oh, uh, that means I need to switch over to that one. Activate here. Maybe I could have done that up from up top, but now I get the joy of just trying to access the zip lines again, because that's a thing. There we go. Uh, what? That's that's kind of kind of that one. Go in here. There we go. No clipping. This one will make 120, and of course, I mean, I can't, I can't. As tempting as it is to put power shards in, it doesn't matter because my belt is a. Uh, a Mark II belt, and a Mark II, and a Mark II, and a, up here. And I do like the fact that they're floating. So, yeah, I don't know if you don't like it, but I like it. And then let's go up here again. See if we can get up there safely without killing ourselves. I really need to get a better solution for this, that's for sure. So let's, uh, let's promise each other that we'll get a better solution to this soon, fast, now. Good, and I should be seeing things coming bound and I'm gonna go back up to my tower just to see because from here I should be able to see everything. Of course, it's gonna be a bit far away, but we just want to see something, things working. And why, oh, why did it have to be nighttime when we did this? Um, It's really not possible to see much from here. Can I get just one of those suns coming on, online? Okay, I see some greens, but that's not gonna help us at all. We're gonna be, if, mucking about inside the builds just to see if things are working yep they're working 30 inbound and because it is a manifold pattern it's not going to be it's going to take a while for it to fill up so on this part here this is this first split it goes 120 in and that one is a mark one belt but this is a mark two belt that's why it's only half filled here looking good goes in the iron rods, are they coming up here? Let's go up and see. Yep, they are. Nice. And it should be up to 60 of those. And we are getting... Here, yeah, this is going to be the cast... No, this first the smelting and then the casted screws. All right, we're getting some casted screws. Are they coming out here and going in here? Yeah, not a damn thing yet. Nothing yet. But that's okay. That's okay. It's going to take a while. Oh, this is the first one's coming in. So we can follow it. What about the casted screws? Why are they not being built yet? Oh, there they are. What about that one? That's also coming in. Great. And that should be 100 per minute, this part. So it's going to be an almost full build. It's going to be like five full and then one empty. Why well, not? It looks like it's completely full, but that's okay. And this is working. Green. And the next one will be green. And the last one will be sort of sometimes green. The last one. But that's kind of the intention. What are we missing here? Just checking. Okay, we got stuff coming out. Good. So that should be working. Well, it does need 100 before it e or 25 before it even gets started. And this one looks good as well. Slowly, 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 they are coming in. This one is building, luckily. Lovely. And this one is actually building soon as well. I could always just bump it up. There we go. All of them are working. That means that the whole process is working. And what I can then do is just sit here, wait, and I have one. Nice. Huh. First one has already been created. Woohoo. 
and we're getting the next one here we're getting the next one and that one from the first one over there great so what we have now is rotors and over on this location this so you can see this one is it's just a nice little build that does exactly this but it's not tileable and that's kind of not great it should be tileable i'm not going to do it but when we need to upgrade it we'll definitely upgrade it to a tileable build i think we'll do we'll try to do tileable builds for the future because i think that's just uh, safer uh no that's safer just more durable so what do you have we have two things we want to do we want to make uh we want to put these things into all right, we want to put these things, 50 of those and 50 of these into just a simple assembler that we're going to place. And that assembler will just be making 50 smart plating for us. Not a big deal. Just make those smart plating uh, so we can launch launch the silo thing and then uh, take a look at that. The other thing we want is a better solution for this part. So I think I'll do the better solution for that part first. No, I actually have to get this one. All right. I have to, well, I don't have to wait for this one to get there because I already have like a ton of handcrafted ones. So I can, I can go out here. Oh, that's, that's good enough. I, I didn't die. And that's a, that, that's my measure of success at this point when it comes to zip lines. If I'm not dead, then it's good. Then it works. There. And can I zip line down? Maybe. Well. Ow. I, I, did I collide with the wire? I must hurt to hit that wire. Yeah, so I'm going to make here just a random... Just a random one of these. This one will just take a bit of time to build. There. And what will it do? It'll make smart plating because I can't have craft, handcraft smart plating. So I just put these two in. I will also put two of these in. Boop, so it goes faster. There we go. So it's making two per minute, and then it makes four per minute. That means it just needs 12 minutes to get done. Boom. Give me that in 12 minutes. Then I have 12 minutes to do something else. Cool. What is that something else? Well, the something else I want to do is make a location, just just a temporary one, to make our, our space elevator. Space elevator is super gigantic, and that's the whole point of what we want to do. Um, yeah, it's kind of big. All right, so over there on that lake might be an option. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. Let's try to sort of build some kind of temporary thing over there. Uh, yeah, I'm going to need to make it bigger, but I really don't want to do that right now. I want to do this. <clears throat> is this important? I'm pretty sure it's important. So I'm going to put it here instead. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to make a platform over there. Yeah, let me just try to make that platform for us so we can get it that up and running. Okay, so I made a little platform. This is seven by seven. And I believe if I recall correctly that it has to be seven by seven and it could be nine by nine. And in that case I'm screwed, but let's try a seven by seven and see if that's working. It is not a good idea, by the way. What I'm doing here is not a good idea. Don't do this at home, kids. It is not a good idea. Oh, that looks weird. Huh, encroaching clearance. How is... How is the middle of this not the middle of anything anyway at all? Oh, look at that. So that works. Oh, it's not at all. Okay, I'm going to stamp it down there. This looks so good when you build it. So that's why I want to get it up here. <laughs> Throwing things at this. Boom. And then looking up. Getting ready. That one should be coming down. Anytime now. Auto save. Yes. Love this animation. Oh, there are bits of draw distance here. Good. All right. So all we need now is uh, 50 of the 
Okay, and that's the cantina coming in. Good, works. All right, so that's the space elevator. This is where we need to put in our 50 smart plating into that, but not just yet. I want to experiment a bit with uh, this one. And when I do that, I, yeah, let's, let's think. Nah, we can do that at the very end if we want to, or maybe it's just something I should be spending time on by myself, I guess. Uh, what I do need is this one. Uh, it's not ready. All right, I'm going to wait until this is ready, and then I'm going to go over here and just launch that. And I think that's going to be sort of the combination of what we do today, because that means what we have done is um, is we've now built nice new platforms and a new nice new rotor build that is tileable. And then we can use those things to make smart plating. I know we should be making more smart plating, but this is actually enough. And then from here on, we can uh, we can launch the silo, and then that's going to be like the end of our deal here. Cool. Let's do that. And so we're ready to. Uh, no. And so we are ready to launch. I have taken these and I uh, put them in here. And once you put them in here, you can't take them out. So, oops. I was just like, ah, oh, just uh, check that if you if you can insert them manually, and you can. And then I was like, oh, damn it, I can't take it out. I even disconnected this one and tried again. So what you do is seal it. It's like, very superfluous uh, animations, but uh, it's nice. It happens so rarely that this is one of the things that Satisfactory does really well, is uh, <laughs> making animations for things that are just being used once or a very few times. So bzz, 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 off you go, away with the cantina. Excellent. And we now have a lot of new research, right? Should we uh, get some kind of notification that we have uh, new research available? No? I really think we should. I guess not. Okay. What if we go in here? Maybe that's going to be now available? Should be available now. Yeah! Level 3 and level 4 is now unlocked. Perfect. All right, so we have now option to research coal power, steel, and coal is probably going to be the next thing we want to do. All right, but that's not going to be right now. That's going to be next time. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this series. If you have, be sure to hit the like button. It means a lot to me that uh, I can see that there is a uh, an interest for it. Share it with your friends and your family and your co-workers and your boss and all the good stuff. And uh, yeah, if you haven't already, consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Until then, take care and as always, stay effective.